and Lord Jim O'Neill joins me now. He is, of course, um, a world-famous economist. He has been in the news for a long, long time. We're absolutely thrilled. He's been advisor to the UK government. He's worked with Goldman Sachs. He has uh, written uh, and brought many, many theories, I think, in the world to bear, where people are still talking about them. Well, um, very kind of you to say. <laughs> Probably when we look back, Jim, what sort of, claim to fame. <laughs> we look back at the BRICS, we look back at the N11, we look back at many things that almost have your name on them. But ultimately, it's all about economic growth. This is really at the very heart of everything you do. Where do you see the world right now? Uh, from the stuff that I've uh, regarded as reliable over my life professionally, I don't follow it as closely as I did, warn you, but I still follow it. Looks to me the world's as strong as it's been for a decade. Uh, with interestingly, many big places doing pretty well at the same time, which is which is quite rare. Even during the old glory days, you often had places that were weak at the same time as others being strong. But of the top ten economies of the world right now, eight of them are all uh, accelerating, which is pretty extraordinary, and that's partly why the world's so strong. Now, we were talking to the OPEC Secretary General just a little while ago and he was saying when he looks at his future global oil demand, again he looks at uh, the economy and the, the strength of the economy and really looking towards the growth coming from Asia, coming from India, China, um, would you agree with him in that sense that uh, they can really look forward and look at global oil growth, that this should be strong as well? Uh, very much so, in fact I think I saw uh, just last week uh, OPEC formally revised higher its estimate of world uh, oil demand based on uh, being more optimistic about China and the world economy. And so there's, it's almost like he saw what I had to say in my presentation two weeks before I presented it. But I kind of see why he's done it. It makes sense. And again, that strength that we're seeing back in the economy and we're seeing a great strength in the oil price. How do you think that might play out when it comes to investment, when it comes to jobs? Um, and you know, and hopefully, will, will it stay? Everyone wants that sustainability, but again, who can guess? The analysts have been right, they've been wrong before. Well, I, I laugh because having been around this, this world for close to 40 years, uh, the one thing I know for sure is that the oil price will never turn out quite just how everybody thinks uh, it will. So it looks to me, from what we've just talked about and the state of world demand, that the oil market is definitely in the early days of a much better period than it's had for many years. But it would be really dangerous to assume that that goes on forever. And as I'm sure you know and many of your participants and uh, contributors know, part of the danger is when everybody believes it's going to go on forever, they overinvest and it makes the problem even worse. So cautious optimism. Uh, indeed, investing in more production and investing in more jobs, but don't get carried away. All right, well, thank you. We'll, we'll keep that in mind and we'll make sure to pass it on to everybody. Um, you've been talking to a lot of people here and it's great to see you here in Abu Dhabi for EDIPEC 2017. How important is it that a gathering like this can actually maybe at least help bring everybody together? Because when we're looking at a decent oil price, it's a very different story as it was than last year. So there's a little more, there's a little more optimism about the place, but that sentiment is also important. Yeah, that's for sure. I, I said to somebody earlier, when uh, just after a couple of hours of being here, uh, it's sort of like the Davos of the oil industry and you know Davos there's no better place than Davos for the talking heads of the world and all sorts of big things happen in Davos so this is the Davos for the oil and gas industry so what more could I say than it, uh, the importance of that?